Hello and welcome. We are learning AWS IAM. Inside IAM, we have three entities, user, group and roles. In this series of videos, we are learning IAM roles use case. In the previous video, I already explained you how we can create role and the first use case of role known as assign roles to the AWS services. In this video, we are going to talk about IAM role, another use case known as assume role. So let's start this. Welcome back. Now, first of all, I want you to, to understand this from where we are getting this particular option and then we are going for the theory and then practical as well. So, if you go to IAM from here, you can create role. Now, when you click on role, you are going to get all these five options. First option already covered in the previous video. Second option is all about AWS account and this is also known as assume role. Now here we can, we can use this particular option for our single account or we can also use this for another account as well. We are going to talk about this practically but let's start theoretical process first and then we will come back over here. So here we have introduction. Assume role is an AWS IAM action that allow IAM entity such as user, service or application to temporarily add up the permission of IAM role. First of all, we will create one role. Let's say that uh, role with the name S3 admin. Now, whenever my IAM user or a service, service means any AWS service or any application required to access S3, it will assume this particular role. So yes, here we are going to give permission to any IAM entity, but here the permission is for limited period of time. When IAM entity assume a role, it receives set of temporary security credentials that grant it permission based on policy attached to the role. So you have permission, but you have temporary security credentials. Now this is temporary security credential provided by AWS STS. It will grant temporary credentials and it is having a customizable lifespan ranging from 15 minutes to 12 hours. By default, it is going to work for one hour, then it will renew automatically. And here, the most important part is you can customize all these options according to your requirement. And also, it is dependent that how you are going to assume this particular role. So timing is totally based on the on how you are going to access this. As you know that when working with IAM role, AWS primary have providing two options. One, we call it same account access and another one is cross account access. First of all, what I am doing, I am going to select this account means I am going to explain you same account access in this video. For cross account access, we are going to talk about this practically as well in the next video. Here we have two options. You can also set up external ID so external user can assume the role and you can also uh, add this compulsory step to enable MFA when you are going to assume the role. Okay, We will talk about these uh, options but right now I want you to understand a basic scenario at how the whole system is actually working and how user can assume the role as well. Okay, So same account access. First of all, I want you to understand how we can setting up the whole process so you will get better understanding. Introduction. IAM role are created within same AWS account where the resources are located. It is like giving certain individual or application specific responsibility or access rights within your organization's AWS environment. So here two organizations are not going to communicate with each other. Whatever we are doing, we are doing everything within organization. Okay, so I'm going to select same account. So here we have example, what is the requirement? Amit, 
A developer needs daily access to EC2 instance, but only occasional access to an S3 bucket. So we have one user and the username is Amit. Amit is actually a developer. Amit is accessing my EC2 instances, managing my EC2 instances on daily basis. I don't have any issue with them, but I want to provide occasional access to Amit of my S3 bucket. Okay. So now how we are going to plan everything. Solution. I am user Amit. First of all, we need to create I am user Amit. So right now I am going to follow this particular scenario going to the IAM. Okay. And going to the user. I don't have any user. So I am going to create this Amit. Yes, I am going to provide console access. I want to create I am user going to set up password for you this user I don't want Amit to change password next so next and create so I just created user Amit okay Amit can now log in as an IAM user but we have to give permission to Amit as well right so Directly attach policy EC2 full access to Amit. Attach policy grant Amit full access to manage EC2 instances. This provide him a necessary permission for his daily development work. Now see, this is the most important part, right? I am going to assign policy directly with the user account Amit. Why? Because if you look at the requirement, Amit is a developer and Amit needs daily access of our EC2 instance. So if you want to give permanent access, it is very simple that attach policy directly with this user and then this user can access your resources permanently. So let's let's understand this practically. First of all, what I am doing, I am going to the I am identity from here. I am going to use this URL. Okay. Now from this I am URL, user Amit is going to log in. As you know that Amit don't have any permission. I am going to provide permission to Amit as well. But Amit is logged in. Now, this is just an introduction. So let me close this. Now, if Amit is going to access EC2 instance, we know that Amit cannot access this because right now Amit don't have any permission. When you create new user, new user don't have any permission. So now we know that Amit is actually accessing EC2 instance as a part of his job. So what I'm doing, I'm going to the IAM, going to the user Amit and here I'm going to add permission by attach policy directly. I'm going to use uh, Amazon manage policy, AWS manage policy. So giving full access permission. Yes, assign this permission. Now, let me refresh this. You will find out that now everything is visible and now our user Amit can manage EC2 environment. And this is okay because Amit is developer and I want Amit access my all the EC2 instance on a daily basis. So I just attach this policy, which is very simple process. And we have already understood all this uh, in the previous videos as well. Now, IAM role create IAM role for temporary access. Create IAM role named S3 temp access. Why we are creating this? Because understood the requirement. Okay. S3 is occasional requirement of Amit. It is not permanent. If it is permanent, I can attach this directly. Okay. But it is not. So here I am going to create this particular role S3 temp access. Okay. How I can do this? Let me go to the roles. Create role. Here I am going to select AWS account. This account. Next. It is asking me to assign permission. We know that we want to assign permission of S3 full access. Okay. Right now I am giving full access. But you guys are already aware that you can also create customer managed policy. 
and you can give permission on a specific bucket to the particular user as well. Right now, to make this on process easy, I'm going to select Amazon S3 full access. Okay, here I'm giving role name and create role. Okay, I'm just going to open notepad here and I'm going to write down all this as well because I don't want you to confuse anything, right? So let's say that my role name is S3 Tam Access. Okay. Now I just created this particular role. Let me go back to the PPT. Okay. Now role policy S3 read only attach policy grant S3 a read only access. Okay. Uh, instead of read only access, I just provided full access. So let's change this. Okay. Full access. Attach policy, we already attach this. If you look at this, you will find out that S3 full access or top, uh, group over here and S Amazon S3 full access policy is already attached with this particular role. Now, the final stage. Assign S3 temp access role to user Amit. Okay. So, how I can do this? I can do this using two ways. First, Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course. And we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope. We are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.